Hi everyone, I'm Tyson, and today we're going to do a Hawaii favorite Spam Katsu Musubi. And we're also going to do a healthier version of a Tofu Katsu Musubi. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So here we have a can of Spam, the lighter sodium version, and we're going to go ahead and open this. And when you open it, don't mind the gelatinous substance that's around it. I'm pretty sure it's natural flavoring. So we, uh, at the same time, we have a spam cutter here. So we're going to go ahead and place our meat inside of the slicer and just press down gently. It should come out to about eight uniform pieces. So we're just going to use one piece for today's demonstration. We also have a piece of tofu, extra firm tofu that I cut earlier, which is about the same size as the spam, and we're going to go ahead and start breading our musubis. Oh. Wait, oh no, it's gonna... <laughs> I'm not filming? Oh. Okay, so what we have here is our extra firm tofu and our piece of spam. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start breading this, and instead of using an egg wash, what I found a lot easier is if you just find some simple tempura batter and add some water, it creates a really good coating agent. And we also have some panko here that we're going to dip our uh, spam and tofu in. So here we go. So we're going to use the wet hand, dry hand technique. So I have a glove on, and I'm going to go ahead and throw my spam and my tofu inside of my tempura mixture. And you want to make sure that each one of your ingredients is well coated and just get the excess batter off and with your dry hand we're just going to take a nice seeping scoop and drop it right in there and cover cover the spam and when you uh, when you bread it with the panko you want to kind of cup it and put some pressure down on it you don't want to smash it flat you're kind of making like a pretend it's like a mouse here that's the kind of uh, shape you want. And then just give it a flip one time. Repeat the process. And get all the excess off and it should come out something like that. And with the tofu, you're gonna do the exact same thing, but you wanna be a little more delicate just so you don't crush it. That's why we use the extra firm is because it, out of all the different varieties, it has the most body. Okay, and here we go with the tofu. Okay, so what we have here, I took uh, just a simple frying pan and put some uh, cooking oil in it. And uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and start frying up our spam and tofu katsu. So here first is the spam. You want to make sure your oil is pretty hot before you put it in or else it's just going to absorb a lot of grease. And you also want to make sure your oil is not too hot because panko actually burns really fast. So if, your heat is, if it's too high, it'll just start uh, turning black and it tastes really bitter. So you want to make sure it's, it's in a good balance. So we're going to let it cook for a couple of minutes and then flip it over and it should be done. Spam is actually the... Uh, and I'm not exactly sure how it got so popular in Hawaii, but it, uh, it's, they call it the Hawaiian steak. Doesn't taste like steak, but hey, what are you gonna do? And uh, when we're done with this, um, for a little added flavor, we're gonna go ahead and brush some teriyaki sauce on top. Okay, so we're just about done here. Um, getting a nice brown crisp on both sides, that's exactly what you want. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, turn off the heat. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, put our ingredients on a plate and a paper towel underneath just to absorb some of the uh, oil. And we're going to go ahead and get some uh, steamed rice. Okay, so we have all of our ingredients ready and now we're going to assemble it and uh, we're going to show you how the musubis are actually made. So I have a piece of uh, nori here. Um, this is just a standard regular sushi size nori. And we're going to cut it up into about uh, three strips. So I'm just going to use a regular knife. Just kind of make my way down. So three strips uh, per slice should give you what the average musubi looks like. So we're only going to use two for this uh, demonstration. 
time you'd use a musubi mold, but I don't have one right now, so I'm going to use my two favorite tools, which is my hands. So you get a, so we have some white rice here, you're going to make a, a ball about this big. And what you're going to do is go ahead and mold it, kind of turn it. Um, it should look kind of like a, a long egg at some point. You want to pack it a little tightly, so it kind of should look like this. Okay, and what we're going to do is place our two balls and we're going to get our, this is a, the one on the left is our spam and also our koku. And what we're going to do is roll it along. So, I'm going to start this way and just keep on going. Don't worry if it's a little bit off, you can always fix it afterwards. And I'm going to just repeat the process with the tofu. Okay, and once you have it, what you want to do is, this is how you actually fix it. You can just kind of pack it down together. And the, the steam from the rice will actually help seal the musubi when you pack it up later. So. What you'd actually do before this is put a layer of teriyaki sauce on ahead of time, uh, but for demonstration purposes, I'm going to put it on afterwards. So we just go ahead and uh, put a light layer. This is a homemade teriyaki sauce, and it's really easy to make. All it is is shoyu, equal parts sugar, and some grated ginger. It really, uh, the ginger really brings out the flavor, and it's really good. It's versatile. And last but not least, we're just going to sprinkle on some green onion. And some, get this glove off. And some sesame seeds. Okay, so this is our final product. We have the tofu to the right and the spam to the left. And last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and uh, experiment with our creation here. So here's the spam. Here it goes. Mmm, 